As some Texans converged on the Capitol to support traditional marriage, the Austin School District has announced it will offer insurance benefits to domestic partners. Fox 7's Lauren Pachowski is live at AISD headquarters with the details. Lauren. And we're talking about same-sex partners and heterosexual couples. Flukerville ISD was the first district in Texas to announce that it would offer domestic partner benefits. And officials here at Austin ISD say that they've been working on this decision since before that announcement was made. Beginning next school year, Austin ISD plans to extend health insurance benefits to domestic partners. We just uh, simply believe that it's the right thing to do. Superintendent Dr. Maria Karstarfin says district officials have been discussing the change to the insurance plan for several years, but are finally able to fit it into the budget. Our family units, uh, especially here in Austin, are very diverse. They, are, they basically reflect the kind of diverse student body that we have. And therefore, you know, we know um, our families need a diversity of choices within our insurance plans in order to serve them well as employees. She estimates a few hundred of the district's 12,000 employees will take advantage of the benefits, costing the district an additional $600,000. In making the decision, the district worked with Education Austin, which represents AISD employees. We believe it's important that everybody has an opportunity to health care. Uh, we don't believe that it matters who you love. It's just that you can be healthy and, and, and productive and have opportunity for health care for everyone. Those who oppose offering domestic partner benefits say that it is against the Texas Defense of Marriage Act, which defines marriage as a union between one man and one woman. The Texas Constitution is very clear on this issue that you cannot have something that's similar to marriage and try to do that and try to get government support. Jonathan Sines, president of conservative group Texas Values, says the district may want to think twice before offering the benefits. AISD has put themselves into a lot of legal jeopardy, um, and I think at the end of the day it's going to cost them. But at this point, the district has no plans to back off the decision. We're a public school system. We're not here to judge. We accept every employee, student, parent that walks through our schoolhouse gates for who and what they are. Now, State Representative Drew Springer has filed a bill to cut off health care funding for school districts that offer domestic partner benefits. He released a statement to Fox 7 saying House Bill 1568 is about protecting the Texas Constitution and ensuring that our education dollars go towards educating our kids. Also, the Texas Attorney General has been asked to issue a ruling on whether government entities can legally offer domestic partner benefits. That decision could come in May. The school board does not have to vote on this decision, but the board will have to vote on the final budget, which does include this by August. Back to you. Sir.